What's up guys, today I'm going to be reviewing LEGO Star Wars set 75359, 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack. That is a long name for a little battle pack like this. The set has 108 pieces and 4 minifigures. On the front of the box you can see the battle pack and in the 4 minifigures. On the top you can see the actual size for one of the minifigures. On the back you can see another display of the tiny little set and then a play feature of the set. Taking a look at the first minifigure in the set is a 332nd Trooper. You get two more of them, except the only difference is the other two have blue jetpacks, which can be seen right here. And comparing them, it's literally just the same minifigure, but this one has a blue jetpack and a slightly shorter gun. And that is literally the only difference between the minifigures. You get the standard 332nd Trooper with the 501st clone body, then the 332nd helmet, and then the crappy little helmet holes on the side, which are supposed to be for visors, but I don't know why they couldn't have done it in the previous hole that's right there. And they had to make a separate hole, which doesn't look as good. But underneath, you can see the face print, which all clones nowadays have as the standard face print. And then apparently this is uh, Clone Commander Vaughn, but it's literally just a 332nd trooper with a uh, orange visor and... What's supposed to be a jetpack on the back. I, I don't know why Lego was so lazy with this, but literally it's just a 332nd trooper. There's nothing special about it except for the slight printing difference on the back and then this tiny tiny little thing on the front which shows the rank of Clone Commander Vaughn. And then underneath he literally just has a standard face print. There's nothing special about him except for the slightly different torso and then the visor, which you get multiple others in the set. So I don't know why LEGO was so lazy and skimpy with this minifigure, but they were. On a more positive note though, the build for the set is really good. I really like this little turret. It's just kind of a turret built out of like four pieces with a stud shooter on it. And you can kind of press the thing down and shoot the stud out without hopefully losing your stud because of how easy it is to lose them with the studs. But it is one of the bigger new stud shooters, which kind of has the stun on its side, which I kind of think is interesting. It's one of the newer designs that came out like two years ago, but it is a pretty good design nonetheless. And then also for the actual Swamp Speeder, it is a really nice Swamp Speeder for the scale that it's at. You are able to fit too many figures on it, as seen right here. And then you also have two little clips on the back for their weapons to go, so that way you don't have to have the weapons off the side and then you might have the chance of losing them. Nope, they just clip onto the Swamp Speeder, which is great for the set. But the two little minifigures kind of sit back in their chairs. There isn't a tile or anything for a like control, so they are just kind of sitting in there and you can just pretend like they're controlling it. But the design is really good. It has this arch up on the top and then the like fan for the Swamp thing in the back. And then up at the front, you have two more stud shooters, which can be pushed in like this to shoot a stud out of the stud shooter. I'm not trying to lose the stud, so I'm not going to fire it off at full blast. But that is going to be all, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.